It was April of 2008. I was 20 and living in Denver for a year-long contract with a non-profit in Boulder. My girlfriend, now wife, and my best friend John drove to Colorado from our home state to visit me for my 21st birthday. The nonprofit I was working for housed their workers in dorm rooms, and drinking was not allowed on site, nor were visitors allowed to stay overnight. So I booked a hotel room in downtown Denver for the weekend where we could drink in honor of my 21st. The hotel was big, very nice, and in a safe central area of the city. My wife and John arrived Saturday morning, and we all met up at the hotel. The day was fantastic. We drank across the city most of the day. By about 1 a.m., we got back to the hotel. The room was typical with two queen beds. Bed one was close to a big window looking out across the city, and bed two was pushed against a wall with a door that opened to the bathroom. You couldn't see the door entryway to our room unless you were at the foot of bed one. We drank more and chatted in the room until about 4 a.m. My wife was lying at the foot of bed two, flipping through the TV. John and I were seated at the foot of the bed, staring out the window as we talked. As we talked, I heard some movement and sound of a door opening. Without looking away from the window, I assumed it was my wife getting up to use the bathroom. A few minutes passed by, and I thought I heard movement again, so I finally looked around and I saw my wife still lounging in bed too as she had been. Did you get up a few minutes ago and use the bathroom? I asked her. No, she replied. I thought I heard a door. I said back to her with just look with her just looking confused back at me. Yeah, I thought I heard that too. John said, breaking his own gaze from the window. It was then I started to run cold and sobered up pretty quick. Very softly, I heard John say, I think there's someone in our room. I lurched forward from the bed to look into the pitch black entryway. I could barely make it out. And I wanted to believe I wasn't seeing it. But there was a man, dressed in all black, with a black baseball cap pressed into the 90-degree corner of the entryway where the room door and wall met. Absolute silence fell in the room, and it felt like hours passed by as I started to panic in my mind like no way I ever have in my entire life. We all knew. We knew we weren't alone and hadn't been for a while. And he knew we spotted him. Eventually, he took courage to meekly speak in the direction of the entryway and said, Hey, man, is there something we can help you out with? Another period of silence that felt like an eternity went by. He slumped off the edge of a wall a little into the light and made eye contact with John and I. We all just stared at each other. Then eventually he spoke up and said, Is this room 1709? No, it's not, John said, stroking his beard nervously. He stared at us for a while longer, raising his eyebrows and shaking his head. He then turned around and left. We then erupted into a million curse words and paced around the room. I called the front desk. They told me that he was drunk and they found him in the stairwell but directed him back to the right room. 
Minutes later, John called the front desk and they told him he was not a guest. He was apprehended in the stairwell and taken into police custody. Then a while later, they told my wife he disappeared and they had no idea who he was or what he was doing. They told her there weren't, wasn't even a room 1709 at the hotel. We got three different stories. We still have no idea what that was all about or how he managed to get a key card to our room. We were sure the door wasn't closed. It was easily the most terrifying moment of my life. Always use the latch in hotel rooms. We got the stay refunded and about 200 in credit for food from the hotel. Should have sued, but we were young and dumb.